State lawmakers be in for a second veto override vote again this session. This after Governor Eric Holcomb vetoed a bill that would curb his emergency powers. News 8's David Williams is live now at the State House to explain. David, good evening to you. Good evening, Phil. On Friday, Governor Eric Holcomb sent House Speaker Todd Houston this letter saying he believes part of the bill violates separation of powers. All of us have been impacted in some way by the pandemic. For months, some Hoosiers have complained about Governor Eric Holcomb's coronavirus-related orders. A bill made it to the governor's desk that would have allowed the General Assembly to call itself into an emergency session to consider legislative action in response to a gubernatorial declaration of a statewide emergency. Friday, Holcomb vetoed the bill. Well, not, not surprised that I mean, we heard from the governor very early on in the process that his plan was to uh, to review 1123 and more than likely veto it, in which he did exactly what he had said he was going to do, and that's his right. House Democrats tell me they believe emergency powers should stay in the hands of the governor. I don't think they belong in the hands of 150 individuals trying to make a decision about a mass mandate or should a business be open or should a daycare be open. You have a lot of decisions that have to be made very quickly and trying to bring together our assembly um, it could just take a lot of time and a lot of different point of views and perspectives. In a letter dated Friday and sent to House Speaker Todd Houston, Governor Holcomb called a central part of the bill unconstitutional. And there's a lot of people that have opined on, on their concern with the constitutionality of this and that. Uh, I believe that uh, the Constitution uh, does not prohibit what we're doing. I think under the circumstances we're creating a very strict emergency session. I think we're doing the right thing by having the people's voice at the table during a, a long emergency similar to what we have today. There are talks happening now about a veto override vote. Uh, both the Senate and the House are having that discussion and I, I think we'll have a, a, a pretty strong support to look at if that's the option we want and move forward then that's what we'll do. Me and most of the other Democrats, we're still going to vote no and voice our opinion, but of course we're in a minority. So I'm pretty sure that his veto will get overwritten. House Speaker Todd Houston's press director tells me a date is not yet set, but expect a override vote at some point before the end of session. For now, live at the State House, I'm David Williams, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. David, thank you.